I am here to find out one thing. What's the difference between a crow, a jackdaw and a rook? Matt and Nigel are here for three reasons. To shoot the rooks, the crows and the jackdaws that are hitting the new barley that the farmer has drilled. Uh, we're here just above a small village on Exmoor called Wedden Cross. We got a four acre field of spring barley that was put in about a week ago. Uh, past couple of days now the crows have found it. Um, we can see out on the field that um, there's a lot of damage, lots of holes where they're digging the seed up. The seed is now starting to chip, which is making the problem even worse. Obviously the crows can see where the seed is and they are picking at it a lot more. So the farmer's called us in to have a go. He's had a gas banger going all week. All that has done is pushed them onto another field of his, of, again, spring barley where it's causing just as much damage. So the answer is now is to come in and shoot as many as we can. One to Nigel. One to Nigel, yeah. Lots of birds are out on the barley today. The target remains corvids in all their forms and it's not going to be easy. Nigel points out the problems with today. The, the biggest problem we've got today is, is the amount of wind that we've got coming at us. Um, we're going to have to try and peg the hide down because it's going to be blowing about everywhere. Um, and as you know with crows they're very, very suspicious of anything. So we've got to, we've got to be a bit, a bit cautious and try and blend in as well as we can. I mean with three of us it's quite a big hide. So hopefully we can do it, but time will tell. The biggest problem we've got up here on, on Exmoor at the moment is that nothing's greened up. If you go five miles down the road, everything's nice and green. You can get some elder off the, the hedge and, and blend it in. Here, the only thing that you can see growing is stinging nettles. Um, and I don't fancy grabbing a load of them and sticking them in the hide. So we're just going to have to try and break it up with the different coloured nets that we got and see how we get on. That's as much as we can do, really. The pattern they put out consists of full-bodied decoys, one in a tree and one flapper. Just a ran random pattern. There's no uniform to it. Um, you don't see the crows and pigeons sat out in a field in uniform. Uh, all this talk of horseshoe patterns and V-shaped patterns, it, it doesn't make a blind bit of difference. If the birds are using your field and you've got decoys out there, no matter what they look like, the birds will come to it. It's not an easy day. We have jackdaws and rooks in the bag, but as yet no crows. The sun is bright and the strong easterly wind is not helping. You're standing up, slight change of tactic? Yeah, birds are coming in from a different area now. Um, just finding it difficult being sat down in the hide to be able to look in the right direction to, to catch them out. So standing up just gives me a full 360 degree view. Even standing up doesn't add to the bag. Nigel goes for a walk around with his shotgun to see what he can see on the rest of the farm. When he gets back, he and Matt work out what to do next. I've shot... One, two, three, four, since you've been gone. Because when you, you fired a shot up there, didn't you? Yeah, just to see if anything get up over the other side, but nothing, nothing at all. And yeah. the man on uh, the quad, Craig, is it? Yeah. Talking to him for 10 minutes, like he said, they're going more on the grass down on this field, not this field, but the one on the bottom. Mm. But, yeah, but I think we need to. I think we've got moved. Yeah. So I think we need to be the other side of the edge. Let's do it then. So move we do, just to the other side of the hedge, but it requires a full scale packing up and unpacking, including trying to get the lofting pole into the wire under the decoy on the tree. Nigel rebuilds the hide and we settle into it. Nigel doesn't pull his punches when Matt misses. I'll wait for you. I'd get off that old chair if I was you. Lovely. 
this is a better side of the hedge. It's not long before we get our crow and Matt can show the difference between the three species. Obviously here on the left we have a rook. You can see the grey whitish front to it. Then we have the crow. Much darker, blacker beak, not as long as the, the rook. And then we have the jackdaw. It's grey head and smaller body. Faster flight speed than the crow and the rook, but all do just as much damage as one another. How do you tell the difference between a crow and a rook in flight? The shape of the tail is a, a dead giveaway, to be fair, and the slower wing beat on the crow. More of a rounded shape to the rook than it is to the crow. The crow's got a squarer tail. So this is the rook, yep. and this is the crow. Thank you, Matt. And they go on to shoot 56 birds of all three species. They see somebody they didn't like. 